Yo, what's poppin' guys and welcome back to another tutorial video. Now today, I'm going to be doing, again, kinda like I did in the last tutorial, where I take a tutorial that I previously made and do it but better. Um, because I made this tutorial, which by the way is I'm going to be teaching you how to make a basic calculator. Again, just a project for people who are just getting into Scratch to learn some stuff, used mainly about the operators today, operators and variables usually today. Um, <clears throat> so that's what we're going to be doing. and. Uh, this is going to be the 2022 version. I don't know. We're going to make it uh, better and more coherent in my explanations. So, to begin, I'll take the cat and murder it. Uh, nobody likes it, uh, and that's the end of that. I'm going to name it Calculator Tutorial. Okay. Oh, I got to add the 2022. Of course. Anyways, now what we're going to do <clears throat> is we will decide what we want, you know, our our asset to be i'm going to use let's just let's just do this and i'm gonna hit random surprise all right i guess a unicorn is gonna be the thing so as all nerds who use calculators know uh every nerd uh wears glasses so i'm just gonna add glasses to my guy real quick uh just so you know that he is in fact a nerd there we go. Now he has glasses on. Uh, very important step. You must add glasses to it. Uh, everyone knows that if your calculator doesn't have glasses, it doesn't work. So, now what we'll do is we will say, when this sprite is clicked, right? We'll base it off of a sprite click. Okay? What we will do is... No, we'll just, we'll just do this. We'll just do a, when, when read flag is clicked. You can set this up to whatever kind of event you wanted. Maybe it's a broadcast. Maybe it is clicking the sprite. But generally, I'm just going to do it off of a green flag click. So when the green flag is clicked, we will have this thing ask what uh, oh, what operation would you like to perform? So an operation is anything that is addition, subtraction, multiplication, division. Those are the basic operations. And those are the ones we're going to be covering in this video. So we will give them some options here by putting in parentheses, usually what I like to do. And I'll put like plus, minus, um, multiplication, and division. Okay, you can physically have them type out the words plus, ad plus, minus, multiplication, division. Just make sure they know in their options here. You will do an if else, and you'll come to our operators tab, and you'll grab an equal sign, and we'll put it inside the if else. We'll come to our sensing and we'll grab this this answer bubble and we'll put it in the first half. So it'll ask a question and then whenever you type and when you hit enter or the blue blue check mark, uh, that will set a temporary, think of it as a variable, a temporary variable as to as that is called answer to whatever you did it to. So let's say you set it to uh, plus, right? Plus. Now what we will do is it will ask... What? Oh, whoa, I have caps lock on. What is the first digit? Okay. Ask you, what do you want? Or not digit. What is the first number? What is the first number? And now we will have the person input a number. I'll make a variable. I'm just going to uh, make a new variable, and we're going to call this number one. Okay. We will then set... Well, we need to check first if it is a number, right? That's a very important part, okay? So the way we can do that to ensure that it is in fact a number is there's there's two ways that we can do this, okay? I'm going to do it via a list, and we're going to call it numbers, okay? Oh, sorry, not let numbers, excuse me, letters, letters. Also, hold up, let me move my face. I just realized I'm kind of in the way of some stuff. I am sorry, hold up. Let me just flip myself and put myself down here. Okay, there we go. Hi. Okay, let me rename this to letters because we want to make sure that people don't accidentally input letters. If you don't want to do this and you want people to just trust based off of what you're saying, then you can just completely skip this step. But if you want to make sure that they can't accidentally put in letters, here's how we go about doing that. I'm going to show letters for the time being so you see it pop up over here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do an add. You know, I put A and then I'm going to click it. Okay, you can do A, then add a B, then add a C. If you want to make it even easier, you can physically come into your game just like this. And once you hit on C, you go enter, D, E, and then F, G, so up, H, 
I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y Z. And then if you want to put in some extra stuff that they can't say, like an exclamation point, like maybe this, maybe the basic symbols you don't want them saying either. Boop, boop, boop. Boop, 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 boop. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. Really want to make sure they can't accidentally mess this up for them. Oh. So you put in every single possible combination that you want or that you th you can think of. If you really want to go crazy, you could like go look up like some random symbols that aren't on the keyboard, like look up the copyright symbol or something like that. I'm not going to go that far. I'm just going to put the basic 59 that are on a keyboard. So that's what we're going to do. And now you're not going to touch this for the rest of the time. So whenever a person starts with the project, even though there's nothing setting it to add these, since you've added it before you shared it, you'll be all good. So now we can, uh, the length is 61, the 61 basic things, right? We're going to hide letters. Okay. And now what we'll do is we're going to have to run a check to make sure that your answer does not contain anything from, you know, um, uh, the letters thing. So we'll make a block. We're going to call this block letter slash symbol check. And we're going to tick this run without screen refresh block. Hit OK. We're going to get this big thing. And we're going to run Letter check right there. We're going to run it here. So whenever this is click, whenever this is checked, it's going to test whatever is here. So let's set up this. And the way we'll set this up is we will do, we will set a variable that we're going to call change. We will start by setting change to zero. And then we will repeat, go to lists, length of letters times, so in our case, 61. So 61 times we will change change by one and then we will run an if else statement if uh go to lists <clears throat> goes oh my goodness i'm having a stroke excuse me if answer contains right if your answer so this is an operators i'm sorry i didn't say that this is if see this apple contains you're gonna take that and put it in there and then grab your answer and put that in there so if answer contains and then we're going to come again this is a little bit complex and if you wanted to skip this part entirely and not worry about having letters and numbers be implemented and just rely on people to not be stupid and not put things that aren't numbers in there then you can skip this part entirely but for people who want to know it's a little bit more complicated than this tutorial is set out to be but just something to dive in a little bit so if your answer contains item change of letters which this means so we set it to zero and then we change it to one we change it by one which would set it from zero to one and then it checks if your answer contains item change which change would be one item one of letters and item one of letters is a and then when it repeats itself again it'll change it by two and then check if it contains two now usually this would take a while but since we're doing it via a block with that runs with a screen refresh it should be almost instant uh sorry if that explanation wasn't super good that's the best one i can give so if it contains that right if it contains then all we're going to do is say something like system cannot accept letters or symbols all right and then we're just going to just leave it at that and then they'll have to restart so like like just have them say press green flag Okay, and now if it doesn't, nothing happens. Okay, so we can honestly just have this as a normal if statement. And then after this repeat block is done, right? After the repeat block is done, then it will ask us the second part. Okay, so what we will say is I have a broadcast here. We have a broadcast that says second digit or number, not digit, number second number okay so what we're going to need is we have our number one and then we're going to get our number two right we have two a number one variable and a number two variable we want to make sure that when the green flag is clicked that we set 
number one and number two both to an empty digit right so it's nothing not even a space is in there just an absolute nothing and this is important for down here we will say oh, okay if equals we will say if our number two equals nothing right then it'll broadcast second number okay and then we'll leave it at that for now because what this is doing is because we're going to run this letter check again on the second digit right and if we just ran it again without this it would just broadcast the second number again and keep going over and over and over again so since when we put in the second number it's going to change our number two to a number whatever number we put in uh it will be able to figure out that no it is in fact not anything and the reason we set it to nothing instead of zero is because zero is a number that they can put into the calculator and we don't want to mess anything up like that so then when a second number is broadcast what we will do is we will when i receive over here when i receive second number we will ask what is the second number okay I also completely forgot to right here above the second number we will set number one to answer because again this was the last answer we called in order and then this ran so the answer is still the same we have an answer to different questions so the answer will still be whatever the first number is so we'll set number one to that so what is the second number okay and then we will run letter symbol check okay and then it'll run all this stuff again and then except down here is we'll grab an if right and we will need to set our variable right up here we're going to set number two to temp right standing for a temporary set it to anything that is a number any letter will work i'm just gonna use temp as an example and we will put in this duplicate a normal if statement that says if number two equals temp we will then set number two to answer and we will broadcast give answer okay boom because then it'll set it to temp and then it'll set it to the answer which would be this one because it's the last question that was called and then it'll reset the temp back to the number that we actually want it to be great okay also i just realized i took the block away give it back this just needs to be under both okay and now what we will do is I'm going to set the, I'm going to make a variable called operation type. I should have done this earlier. I'm sorry, I didn't. So what operation would you like to perform? Right here, we will set our operation type to whatever our answer was, right? So, yeah. So if it was plus, set it to a plus. Pretty easy. Now what we can do is underneath our give answer, you will run an if statement, an if else. And you'll say if operation type equals plus what we will do is we will say so we can make this kind of fancy right we can say join and we'll take these join blocks right and what we can do is we can say their first number number one and then we know it's an addition so we'll say plus if you want to you can do space plus space make it look a little bit nicer you know plus do this again number two and then we'll do maybe a sp like a space equals space oh hold up not number two. Oh my goodness space equals space equals and then what you will do <clears throat> is you will come to your operators and you'll grab the addition symbol right here and you will say number one plus number two which in this case is zero because right now there's zero and you'll put that at the end and you'll have him say whatever it is so it'll say number one plus number two equals whatever the answer is so now let's quickly set up these other ones real fast so if the operation type is a negative or a minus we'll just switch out the minus and we'll set this to a minus then we'll check if it's multiplication multiplication and multiplication and then one last time for division. Division and division. Fantastic. 
And that's all you need to do there. Now we'll come over here and we'll finish this stuff up. We'll duplicate the plus. We'll set it to a minus. Set the operation to a minus. What's the first number? Boom. Pretty easy. Same thing with uh, multiplication. Set the operation type to multiplication. And then finally with division, set the operation type to division and set this final one to just a normal if. And there you go, there is your basic calculator. Let's give it a check to see if there's any issues. And if there's any issues, we can go over what we did wrong and how to fix it. This is how game dev works, all cool. What operation would you like to perform? I want to do addition. What's the first number? Four. What's the second number? Seven. Four plus seven equals 11. Fantastic, it all works great. <clears throat> now, what happens if we do plus, what happens first of all, if we just do something that isn't one of the operations? The project just ends. If you want to, if you want it to say something, what you can do is at this final if, you can set it back to an if else, and then you can say, please input a valid function. Press the green flag. You can do that. So now if we do something that isn't valid, Please input a valid function, press the green flag. What would you like to do? Okay, let's say we do plus, and let's say we do four plus G. Four plus G equals four, okay. Now what's going on here is that it is actively running our letter symbol check, except however, for some reason, it isn't, uh, it isn't detecting that it contains our letters. So what is up with that? Let's figure it out. Ah, I see the issue, issue, oh, issue, excuse me. The issue being here is that after it says the symbol isn't <clears throat> correct, it just stops and then it allows it to set itself. That's the issue. So we need to find a system that stops it from doing something. So what we can do is we can set our number two, since our number two is what determines what actually happens to something completely different. So we can do this to not a number. Again, no one will see this, this is just for us. So set number two to not a number, and then it won't be blank, and it also won't be temp, so then it can't do anything. So let's take another look now. One plus, what's the first number? Three. What's the second number? H. System cannot accept letters or symbols. Press green flag. Now let's try it with the first one. So let's do a D. System cannot accept letters or symbols. Okay, cool. So let's do <clears throat> minus, okay? Let's do six minus two. 6 minus 2 equals 4. Fantastic. Let's test out the multiplication. Let's do 6 times 4. 6 times 4 is 24. Fantastic. And let's finish up with division. What's the first number? Uh, 81 divided by 9. 81 divided by 9 equals 9. Fantastic. Everything works perfectly as it should. We have our nerd, unicorn, and everything works fine. Uh, I'm going to, I'm not going to share this project. I'm going to share this project because uh, when I'm, when I'm filming this, it's not a thing yet, right? Because the video is coming out on Sunday and it is Saturday right now. So I'm just scheduling it because I am going to be doing something and I won't have time to record. So I'm going to leave the episode here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked it, then like it. If you didn't like it, like it anyways, because we're all having a good time and everybody's got pretty good as a bado. While you're at it, why not subscribe to the channel? If you enjoy my content, that helped me out a lot. But thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.